Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So I'm back with the long awaited video of how to get the badge of this event. I will include some tips and tricks which I'm sure you did not know before so listen out for those. If you do not know how to get the title for this event, look at my previous video, link in the comments below, which will show you how to do it. With all the tips and tricks, it took me only four to like four and a half hours to complete this whole event in case anyone needed a time frame. So keep watching to learn how to finish this event quickly and win yourself a badge. Also, you can check out my post on YouTube, linked below, on a written version of the overview of how to do this event. It shows a picture of all the different areas on the Lua map as well. Basically, you must bring 10 microchips to enter this string of 19 events, which you must complete by doing tasks to get the cheese, which you'll bring back to your hole, and then you'll finally get your badge after doing all that work. Let's talk about how you get a microchip. Some of my friends told me about the rooms on Discord before I was even back from work to start making the event video, so thanks Marcus and Avia. So let's start off with a pro tip to begin with. The Lua event map takes forever to come, like an hour or two hours, and some people said that it didn't even show for like three hours at least in these first few days of the event. The event started on November 19th, and some people are saying it's gonna stay here for a month. So that's like, to my birthday. <clears throat> so there is a way to get these rooms a lot faster and complete it the way I did. So you would need at least three other friends, or you could just put it out in the chat or cafe, or you could also do chat slash like Lua events and like look for people there and make a private room, which can be international, vanilla, or a normal room of just like four mice. And you can see it cheese farm like normal. The event will show up at around 12 to 15 minutes to a maximum of 20 minutes. Once the Lua event map has played, go to a new room and do the same thing all over again so that will take a maximum of 15 to 20 minutes for it to show up. So that's how you can quickly get all these rooms so within an hour you can get up to like four rooms, maybe in five rooms. Um, a few hop rooms and other people have Lua maps coming up sooner so that's another thing you can try doing. Now onto the main event itself. You must collect 10 metal sheets. So a pro tip is that you do not need all 12 sheets as it mentions. And you do need three batteries though. The bottom left of your screen in the blue text keeps track of how many batteries and metal plates, or as I have gotten used to calling it, sheets you've collected. You must stand on top of the metal sheets or batteries to click it so spacebar does not work on this. Same with the elevator at the bottom left and the top left. To teleport to both areas, you must stand on the elevator and click it. Some maps will have this crate, which can be opened with a certain number of mice. Since our room was small with only four mice, it only took two people there at once, which is so much easier. But in bigger rooms, it usually takes five mice. So you have to go to the crate and you have to click on it for it to count. But you must stand there and wait, which is the annoying part, until there are enough mice who have also clicked it for it to count as well. Because if you leave, your count goes away. By opening the crates, you can get six to eight metal plates, saving you one trip, but you do have to get a trip for batteries. So crates aren't that helpful because you still have to get all three of the batteries. So yeah, depending on the number of mice who open it, you can get six or eight plates. We got six plates, which I don't really need because I already got the microchip in that round. <laughs> but yeah, that's the only time it goes over the limit of the five plates. To make sure it is in time, do not try to scramble. The trick here is to look at where the batteries are placed, Generally, the areas are left up, left down, right up, and right down. The right half is much faster to do because you don't have to wait for the elevator thing. And like clicking also takes time, like every second counts, right? And then there are a few different variations of this map regarding the placement of the batteries and sheets. Basically, your goal is to get all the batteries and on the way, collect the metal sheets in your path. You can hold a maximum number of five sheets and two batteries at once before you have to run up to the left and drop it off at this machine called the Component Builder which creates a microchip and once you've deposited enough of them. To make it in time, ideally you should go to the builder only two times. If one battery is on the right and two are on the left, let's say for instance, then do the right, get that one battery and the five metal sheets along your path, deposit it at the component builder, and then move left and pick up two batteries and five metal sheets along your path and then come back to deposit it. After there is one minute or less left, do not enter the boiler room area, else there is a possibility that you might freeze there and be incapable of finishing the event. The boiler room is that far dark left area which you get by running past the elevator and jump up to reach the hidden water which floats you up there. The top right section which has a barrel, try not falling in those as well because I did that and trust me it is very hard to get out of those. Sometimes it leaves you stuck in there. Try hopping over the barrels if you have to get to the other side to pick up a better sheet though. The bottom right section has a NPC, which means non-playable character, in this case it is Aaron, which you can click on to get a tip. 
which gave out like maybe three tips which weren't very necessarily helpful and either way I'm telling you many more tips and tricks which will actually help you out so you don't have to waste your time clicking on Aaron. Then you see that chest on the right past Aaron. Once you get the hang of getting the microchips, you will have enough time to also get your title after getting a microchip, unless you lag a lot. Believe me though, I thought it was an impossible task, but as you see, I got plenty of time left over after finishing the event, so you could definitely do that. If not, you can do the chest after you get your badge even. That chest uses codes to get you the title which I showed in my previous video. Once you have collected 10 sheets and 3 batteries, the map has exactly 3 batteries and has a total of 19 sheets, by the ways, you can spam your spacebar to increase that metal bar to 100% to get your microchip. But make sure you do not spam the spacebar when it is red above it, else your percentage goes down instead of going up. A pro tip which has helped out in a lot of cases, because the first set it can actually jump you straight to 60%, spam the spacebar the first time you have to start spamming it because you are already at 0% so you can keep spamming it on the first red that you get and you can spam it through the first round of it turning green but stop at like 50% before it turns red again else you'll decrease your percentage with each space. You can get roughly like 30% each time it turns green if you spam fast enough so once you get 100% it gives you the microchip to pin the time machine. Only after you go and click the time machine will your microchip actually count. So if you're running out of time Another pro tip that I found out myself was that if you run to the time machine when the space bar meter is at like red so that you save time on running back to the machine part at the end and darkly once you hit 100% you can click on the machine like it did in like the last 3-4 rounds when I figured that out because you do not have to stand at the component builder on the left while you're space bar spamming. <laughs> so it counts even though you're standing at the time machine. And ta-da! Now you have yourself one microchip. Now go do that for a total of 10 times to move on to the event portion of this badge. Oh my gosh, that seemed like I threw a lot of info and tips and tricks at you, so let's take a break. I'll make another video on how to do each of the event maps because some of them are a little bit confusing if you haven't had help from your friends. So hope this was very informative and you did not get confused. If you did, you can drop a comment below and I'll definitely reply to it. But bye, Kinoshal. As always, peace.